Parental discretion is advised. On this week's Wrestling Mayhem show, Raw was in Pittsburgh, so we're probably going to talk about that. Stick around. The Wrestling Mayhem show is brought to you by Milk. Suck on them cow titties. Welcome, everybody, to the Wrestling Mayhem Show. It's episode 361. I'm Sorgatron here in the Mayhem Studios in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, ready to get geeky with the wrestling. I don't know. Is there another word in geeky I can use? Just get fanned with the wrestled? E- erect. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, there's that, too. Uh, with <laughs> us already, apparently, st- apparently, apparently he pre-gamed it. Uh, he's <laughs> Papa Lunchbox. Look at that face. Look at, ah, Look at him. Coming to you live from the Steel City. Ready to do Steel a City. ladder match from the looks of the background there. I am always prepared for a ladder match. That thing comes with me everywhere. Uh, really hard to get on the subway. Totally worth it. I killed two hobos today <laughs> who were giving me lip. I did the old Terry Funk round the neck. Tossed them right in the river. They might have drowned. Who knows? Wait. Or cares? They don't have Wait. family or friends. Now I know. And I recognize that ladder. Now, that, that, that's the one that goes up to your little kind of loft area, right? Yes, that's correct. Uh, I'll do a little camera work here. Well, it, it, um, so yeah. there's the ladder. It's not fully extended right now, but if you look just like upwards, <laughs> hey, <laughs> there's my. It's my little loft area. That's my bookshelf, uh, and that's where I uh, go up to read and do the uh, Jimmy Superfly uh, snooka splash onto the bed. Oh, and excellent! You answered all my next of question. its inhabitants. You, you answered my next question. Is that also <laughs> yes. where you like uh, just stand up top on on top of there and just jerk off and just no it's you know I, once i i really i did it once but what? it's so hard it's so such cleanup you know because it just goes everywhere if i you had a I ladder mean? up to a loft i would do that every day you don't yeah, but, you don't you don't mix up your jerking section with your reading section i mean that's just bad news <laughs> you ever hear you don't shit while you're where you eat Same exactly thing. riz well, you have a you cleaning have lady too you don't have to clean up that shit after yourself all right. Riz is with us, pondering I, a cleaning lady. I have a cleaning lady, and uh, she's not here right now. All right. So I'm keeping it clean, and I have my pants on. That's and where Riz keeps his jizz, in the cleaning lady. <laughs> <laughs> oh, also oh, with wow. us from somewhere dark in Texas... <laughs> it's a dark, scary place in Texas. Know, where are, are you? Light, light bulbs. Fuck. I, yeah, it's a mystery. You're like completely you know I Are you trying? Wait, 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 wait. Are you trying to reenact the Bohemian Rhapsody video? Sure. He's why not? Not old Scott enough to know what that I, is. Exactly. I told. I Come told on, you. the Muppets did it. Scott Moose, did you see the Fandango? I see the Fandango. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. I get it. Because we saw Fandango. <laughs> you get it. Because <laughs> it's, it's, in the, it's in the song. We, will you let him go? <laughs> you just killed the joke. <laughs> Bobby, you're here too. Hi, Bobby. Yes, I'm here too. Bobby, From Johnstown, PA. I got my car. You got you his saw, car. I got hey, my car. Oh, Bobby got Bobby. his car. Oh, mama mia. <laughs> no, it's over. It's no, over. It's, it's done. No, we're past that. We are, we're, <laughs> we're done. Mute him. I, uh, no, don't mute me. No, no. So, Bobby, did you have any more introduction? No, I just got my car this week. <laughs> That's, <laughs> That's all he did. He just got it. That's all I did. I just oh, got my no. car. Oh, no. Oh, no. I, I attended my first Raw live event. Really? My first Raw. Wow. So, it, it, this awesome. weekend. It was, it was we'll, more on that later. And of yes. course, of course. And of course, this is your Wrestling Mayhem show for this week and every week as usual. Uh, you can join us, of course, all the time at uh, WrestlingMayhemShow.com where we share our thoughts and feelings with yeah. you on wrestling, yeah. including uh, Mad Mike has his TNA report back. So go check that out. Uh, we all knew he's coming back. Nobody leaves. Nobody leaves. Nobody they always can. come back to wrestling. They always come back to their impact report. Wrestle, uh, oh, hey, we're on iTunes, Stitcher, Spreaker, uh, Blip TV, uh, Roku, via your Blip TV app, uh, and uh, the YouTubes, of course, and video and audio forms, however you yep. like it. Uh, and you can also drop us a line at... 
Good time. Four one two two one six. No, 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 no. Good, good time. Zero. The good Did you times. say W three M S zero? No, Mike. The good times at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Where drop a line to four one two two zero six W M S zero, or you can buy the app uh, on your. Uh, iOS app on store your Stitcher or, or Spreaker on your Amazon uh, app store. You're going to confuse the audience, LB. They're time. already confused. That's true. Really if they're not already confused, they're not right. So go check that out with exclusive ah. stuff. Just some fun stuff that yeah, happened yeah. there. Riz has got it. Has he got it? I, I or got is that it. number munchers? I got it. There he is. Oh, no. that, that looks like Permanis. That's the Permanis app. We munchers. are not the Permanis <laughs> app. Do not confuse us. Okay. Our own deliciousness ah. with theirs. I open up top by accident. That's Why number muncher. I do not come with coleslaw. <laughs> uh, oh shoot! Hold on, hold on. You should. That's a missed. That, that's a missed opportunity, Wrestle fan. That was, that's, a, that's just a straight up missed opportunity. That's, that, that, that's your calculator. So let's start the show. Proud of you, skinny little piece of shit. Let's start the show. <laughs> let's start the show. <laughs> the only way we know how with I the fan mail, the and I think we should start international. Oh okay. yes. Wait. wait. Wait, Wait. Oh, <laughs> yeah. you, do not turn, you do not turn to the person I expected. How <laughs> international. Oh shit, I closed the drive. Oh, no. <laughs> Southern international. Right. We're going to do Spanish. We're going to do Spanish. You ready yes, for this? please. Wrestle fan, this is how it's done. Oh, okay, fine. <laughs> I also have the translation, though. So you read the Spanish part. I'll read the translation according to Google. How does this? Hola, amigos. <laughs> my. No, that's not right. Hola, amigos! Es mi! Es mi! Es el gran azul! Oh, yeah. There's a road, I know what it means! Alberto <laughs> del. <clears throat> Sorry, neighbors. <laughs> <laughs> you sound like a fighter pilot. <laughs> es muy bueno heading into WrestleMania. Ole! Ole! Jack Swagger es mes punto. No, I can't. Jack muy Swagger es muy punto. Ole! Ole! And the, the Google translated version, um, it translates specifically to. Hello, friends. It is my, is my big blue. <laughs> it's my Del big blue. Al- you want to do this part? Del- oh, do no, it. no, no, do, do it. it in English. No, you do it. It's your turn. This, you is, do it in this English. is English because there's no tongue rolling. Yeah. Okay. Del Alberto Rio uh. <laughs> is very good heading into WrestleMania. Ole! Jack Swagger is very <laughs> point. Ole! Ole! I thought Punto was uh, Spanish for uh... pussy. Well, yeah. not go- <laughs> Google. Does- Google Machine. doesn't think so, and Google knows all. So. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Spanish for cookie. Bye. Nah. Bye. Nah. Next up, guys. Bring back that song. <laughs> Hello, 10 percenters. It's your boy, Alex Cars, with a quick thought coming off the live uh, out of the TV tapings for Championship Wrestling from Hollywood, HollywoodWrestling.com. There's a, there's a more expensive report coming to PowerToTheSmarts.com. <laughs> Plug. Uh, but for now, a highlight uh, that some of you might be intrigued by. Before his match at the taping, Scorpio Sky responded to the Twitter war he had with Kevin Steen by calling the former PWG world champion out to Sky's hood uh, of CWF Hollywood. Whether Steen could or would show up is, enti- is an entirely different matter. So, yeah, go check that out. Hollywood Wrestling. Dot com to see what they're doing out there. Thank There's you, wrestling Westle in California, fan. people. What's that? There's no wrestling in California. I said thank you, Westel fan. There you go. I get it. I, yeah. I, I get it. You get it? <laughs> I love it. <laughs> All right. Who's up next? Uh, I'll read again. I, go for okay. it. There's one from uh, Matt Carlins, uh, if I can find it. Uh, he says, WMSers. 
Wish I could do this via voicemail, but email will have to do. Chachi, you better bring it. Nope. Okay. Nope. Not <laughs> I this at, week. <laughs> I, I was at the We're last sorry, draw in Melon Arena. I was at the holiday taping at console. Then I decided to not uh, to attend last night's Raw, and I do not regret that decision. Why? You could have seen Sword. Fucking dick. And Bobby. And Bobby. <laughs> and Lunchbox. We did not hang out with us, man. And, Thanks and a lot. Riz. And Riz. Maybe. Yeah. yeah. And, and Lady, Lunchbox. Lady Lunchbox. Yeah. And, and friend of hey. J-Town. That's... <laughs> <laughs> Oh, All those there? people could have been yours and Santa <laughs> if the price is right. Did it ding 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 What did they change the theme in the last couple years? What is Drew Carey doing to that show? I haven't listened, I haven't watched it in the past couple years. So in that case in that case, it's obvious. WWE is jerking around the fans of Pittsburgh. What? They know we always sell out and they take us for granted. Not, we do not always sell out. No, we don't. No, we, we didn't don't. sell out last you, night. A lie. No. Yeah, we, yeah, it was we, a sellout. Almost sold out last. That was the most I've seen. I don't know. That was a big chunk uh, open behind the camera. Yeah, Michael Cole yeah, said it was, it was yeah. a sellout. So, I don't know. Uh, Vince, you cannot have my money. Not for last night's Raw. Not for WrestleMania. That doesn't mean I won't watch and enjoy. But pay? No. That money is better spent on a local indie show. At least they'll <laughs> earn it. Have a great show. Your pal in the mainstream media, Matt Carlins. Here's a, here's a funny thing, and I, I think I'm going to shock some people here. Yeah. So hold shit. on. Here. It's oh, shit. Oh, it's going to get real. Hold, Jesus, hold wrestle fan. Oh, Holy hold, shit. Oh, hold on to your butt God. holders. I'm going to shit my pants. I disagree with Matt Carlins. Oh, my oh no. Oh, pants. <laughs> oh, no. And you weren't even in Pittsburgh. I know. You weren't getting well, your car. Get in your damn car, Russell fan. What is I, happening? <laughs> Why do you disagree? Do you I, just, get I don't know. I, I thought, I mean, obviously Raw did have some problems, but I thought it was overall a pretty good Raw. Um, it was overall a, I'm sorry. But I don't think, you know, I think, I don't know the best way to put it, but like, I think they still deserve your money. I mean, WWE in general deserves your money just for, you know, the stuff they're putting out. I, I don't think just because, you know, I, I, I'm not sure exactly what Matt Carlin's is opposed to here, but I, I, I think there's as much as, you know, we can complain about stuff going into WrestleMania, I, I, I still am enjoying it and I'm still intrigued and there's parts of it I really do enjoy. So I will continue to, you know, pay my money and sit down and watch it, you know, every Monday and, you know, if it's live, I'll be there. So, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I think I, I think we're going to touch it. Let's touch more on the, the live Raw right. uh, uh, experience a little bit later in the round table. Touch okay, guys? It, I, I think we'll address a lot of those issues. Um, dramatic touch it. Bring it, bang it, rock it. You know, I mean, you just keep going. <laughs> I'm just doing. I'm just doing a little sound check. No reason to stop. Sound check in the middle of the show, right now. <laughs> Testing. Woo! Woo! It's Bo. Fucking diggity. Real quick. Dig I think T. <laughs> Dig attack. I had a flow, man. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. <clears throat> Real quick. I think AJ is TNA. AJ equals TNA. Yes. <laughs> Uh, I think TNA. TNA, J. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, well, I think TNA is trying to make uh, sure the Wrestling Mayhem show loves TNA. April 11th, Impact Live TV event in Corpus Christi for WrestleFan. And then two weeks later on April 25th, Impact Live TV event at IUP near Pittsburgh for most of the rest of the L Bigs B. <laughs> LB's big PPC voice. I can't do this email anymore. Crew. Uh, <laughs> TNA crew. is really trying. I beat, I might be in, 
Wow, I can't read tonight. Uh, they also seem to be uh, steering away from major cities, but going near them. Uh, Duluth, Georgia, outside Atlanta. Peoria, Illinois, outside Chicago and St. Louis. IUP, outside of Pittsburgh. Corpus Christi, two hours from San Antonio. Really work in the areas between the cities that WWE would only maybe do house shows. But uh. TNA does live TV. That's a huge deal for those smaller towns. You'll get hotter crowds because it's TV, not a house show. Bo, F. Diggity. The F Diggity. is for Fan Dodge Durango. <laughs> Good day. So, uh, I'm, yeah. I'm at, I, I won't I, be at the uh, Corpus event, but I'm interested to see uh, what they're going to be doing with that. Since since it's going to be at the Bank uh, American Bank Center, which is the same place where they do hold live Raws and tape Smackdowns. Now, I'm sure, I got a I'm, question for you, Russell fan. Yeah. I know, I know you live in Texas, and but this question is supposedly. dedicated. Supposedly, he lives in Texas. Texas. Supposedly, but Corpus Christi yeah. is that like a out of the way town or out of the way place? Let's city? consult Google Maps. <laughs> like, is it is it out of, like is it you know a lot of? I I believe I I think you're insinuating as to why I'm not going to be there. No 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 no. I, I just want to know the area of Corpus Christi. It's not. It's, it's not like a huge city, like a Dallas or a, or something like that. I think is it, it's. Uh, is, it, is it like a? Is it a city? It's a city. I mean, is yeah. it like a, a? We we got an aquarium and a baseball field. Okay. Because <laughs> because when I was looking at it, I'm looking at it like, I know IUP is basically just the college town, the university of IUP, and nothing else. Yeah, there's nothing else there. There's yeah. nothing in IUP. Hey, you know what's over there? A nuclear power plant. <laughs> <laughs> nuclear panel plant. Yes. This is true. Yes. And I've, I've probably went there a few times. But um, they're going to cities that we don't know about. <laughs> <laughs> so they're educating us is what you're yeah, telling me. We're, ed- we're getting educated, and it's kind of weird because they're focusing more on the out of town areas like he said but there's also that contingent of holy crap they're going to like to farm like not to farmlands but more like to rural areas i think another thing is, and it's more you know mm-hmm. yeah. that weird feeling i i think another thing if you look at that schedule i think you'll probably notice that they're hitting a lot of cities towns uh, that they've hit before. They that, have. They've yeah. probably done Duluth before. They did a house show in Corpus like a couple they did years IUP. ago. Mm-hmm. They've done IUP, yeah. yeah. So they know, there's the thing is, they know the crowds that they got. They're probably the reason they're not doing Erie PA, why they're not doing you know Cheswick or, or the Ice Gardens, because they saw the crowd they got there versus what they got in IUP. And or, or, if nothing else, basically the live shows were like the tour. You know, yeah. they try it before you buy it for all these cities. And like, let's go. Uh, we have JB running everything, and we have the wrestlers there. Uh, that's all the money we spent on this. And now it's like, okay, we know we can get enough people. This will look good on TV. So next time we come around, we're hitting this. We're hitting this. We're hitting right. this. It's not about the big cities or the sides. It's how it looks on TV. It does not have to be huge to look good on TV. Yeah. yeah. So. And one of the, one of the things I'm surprised they haven't done I, I couldn't I couldn't count because I not, don't look on there yet mm-hmm. I haven't looked on there yet I'm surprised TNA hasn't gone more to the mm-hmm. university aspect go to the universities of of not not the big schools mm-hmm. but more of the localized schools mm-hmm. like it's IUP Johnstown. or Cal or <laughs> Johnstown or wherever Russell fan is um, but. <laughs> Is it San Ant- uh, the San Antonio, San Antonio. school? Yeah. yeah, and University of Te- uh, Texas San Antonio. But mm. it's just that they should focus more on that because there's the live crowd that they're looking for. Those college kids, those college guys that want to go see wrestling and frat to- rows. Yeah, frat guys. I, I don't know if I don't know. I, I see what you're saying, Riz, but I don't think like that's necessarily the crowd that they're appealing to. I think they're appealing to a lot of the older fans that are sort of more conditioned to like the guys that they see all the time. And there's been younger fans spattered here and there, like yeah. you know. And 
as far as like at, at least here, you know, if they did it here, obviously they do it again at the Alamo Dome. They wouldn't do it in like a, in some place near like the college where you know they wouldn't fill. They, it would it'd be a much smaller venue, and yeah, they'd fill it. But I mean, it wouldn't look as great on television. But still, it's a filled arena. That's what they want to get. They want filled arenas, and they want to put on good shows for filled arenas and what better place to go to than people who have discounted tickets because they have those get those cards saying hey i'm a student mm-hmm, mm-hmm. people like those tickets because they get discounts at that and point seen, it's not about making the gate money it's about making good tv yes mm-hmm. and going to colleges will probably make good tv because mm-hmm. they're they are live and since they do kind of sell there, there. And it'll pay off in the long run too. Yes, because people will see that the crowd's active, and you know, maybe fan, I, get I them graduated into the show. in a small freaking t- <laughs> college. Plus, college kids will cheer for fucking anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's true. I'll give you that. So, I, I think they're doing the right thing. And again, in hitting places like you said, they're bringing they're bringing TV to places that are, are, WWE isn't hitting. WWE can't be everywhere, and they're like, well, we'll be the rest of those places. That makes sense. So I think it's really smart on their end, definitely. Yeah, it's smart because, I mean, you know, there's an audience that wants to see live wrestling that, you know, doesn't want just an indie show. Yes. All right, I think we got one more email real quick and a voicemail. Uh, uh, LB, I think you, you need to take this one. See, uh, before I start, I, this amusing thing just happened to me. I logged into my, uh, my blog, and I apparently have 14,444 page views even. Wow. And that's a thing that I needed to share with everyone. <laughs> it's me. It's me. It's Big PPC. Wow. Road to WrestleMania coming together. Ziggs and Mini Mark Henry versus Team Hill No. Ryback versus Real Deal Henry. Big Show Seamus and Od- Orton against Shield. Getting pumped for undercards. Who else will we get? <laughs> Very sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> Jericho versus Fandango. Cesaro versus Miss. Barrett versus Miss. Kofi Kingston versus Barrett. What match would you add before Mania? Not feeling well this week. Extra short email this week. Till next time, it's me, it's me, it's that big pipsy. Motherfucking fan of the year sent from Ethan. There you go. The question was, what would you add to WrestleMania, guys? What you, what do you think? What do you think? Ponies. Ponies. Yes, Ponies. I'm with that. Ponies. I'm with Pony that. in a pole match. Uh, okay, so we've got Jericho, Cesaro, Miz, <laughs> Barrett, Kofi Kingston, uh, even Fandango. That's six very talented, mostly white wrestlers <laughs> who don't have anything to do at WrestleMania. Money in the bank. And one yeah. black guy. You can jump everywhere. I said mostly white. I, I think I think even if you take those guys, all those guys, and just kind of roll out a couple matches from them, build out some mini feuds. I mean, Jericho could feud with Fandango over Dancing with the Stars. Uh, we, uh, you know, uh, Miz. I don't want Miz Barrett again because we've seen that a lot. Uh, even if we get, I, I kind of wish that one of them picked up the belt so we had Miz and Jericho at the, at the at the at Mania. Um, well, if- but I, I think you can roll out some pretty good stol- uh, show stealers out of any of that. So, well, if if one of those two won the belt, it wouldn't be it wouldn't have been Ms. Jericho. It would have probably been Whoever Champion versus in. Barrett for maybe. rematch clause. Maybe, 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 that maybe, again. maybe. Let me see the triple threat. Again. But still, I, the triple threat. I I would love to see that at WrestleMania. Yeah, that was a great match just, last the, night. Hmm. I, I just don't want to see them. I, I want to see them do something meaningful with both those belts because they have not for uh, mm-hmm. it feels like several months at this point. Um, so well, all they've been doing is feeding Barrett to Orton or yeah, yeah, Jameis yeah, or Cesaro. Cesaro. Uh, yeah, oh, Cesaro's Cesaro. beating up right on, back on and... superstars. But other than that, so yeah, R- Ryder is um, not Ryback. That's. That's, that's true. I get lining. it. I get the joke. Anybody else got some picks? I got one. Okay. Nobody cares. ACH, right? Fine then. Actually, no, it wasn't, <laughs> but that's fine. Go ahead. <laughs> I was going to say uh, singles match Yoshitatsu versus Pancake Patterson. 
I don't know. Patterson. Tell me, yeah. tell me, you wouldn't pay to see that. Was it, who's Pancake Patterson? Don't Pancake you remember last night? Were what? you at Raw? Were you at Raw? Oh, he was, that's he was what the he best called part himself. Of Raw. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm with that. I'm with yeah. that one. Definitely. All right, we got have, a voicemail have, here. Oh, oh, oh! I have, I have one more oh, thing yeah, I yeah, would yeah. add. A casket to the Undertaker versus Punk. Ooh, Ooh yes, that sir. makes sense with the way they're going mm-hmm. now, but I don't think it's necessary. Is the thing? So I think it is. Mm-hmm. Or just it's stuff somebody in. Earn <laughs> on a pole I match. We got a voicemail. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought that was the voicemail. <laughs> <laughs> why, why isn't this? Hold on. I am the poop. Joins us with some yes. eloquent uh, things. So uh, with that, uh, time for manager falling down. It's the Wrestle Fan with the Indie Minute. Ah, Indie Minute. Whoa. <laughs> hey now. Not Holy shit! Saying. Killed my boner. I'm so happy you're filming me from the waist up. God, Hit your stuff wow. first, Wrestle Fan, please. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, the Indie Minute for this week. Uh, there's some stuff going down uh, in the Pittsburgh area this weekend that I think we need to touch on. Uh, first uh-huh. of all. Our- Venus. Where's Pittsburgh? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Bobby, get your <laughs> uh, Renegade Wrestling Alliance. Uh, they are uh, doing some stuff this weekend uh, for their event March for Gold 5, I believe. Uh, it should be a really great one. Sorgatron Mini is going to be there. Sorg will be there. Chachi. Uh, tons and tons of great stuff going to be happening what there. What did you say it was? What is it? March for Gold 5? No, March to Victory, Dick. Catch for Gold. March to Victory. Whatever. Ooh, I would go see March to Victory, Dick. What, I would see Catch for Gold. <laughs> what the hell? There's Are you even green, trying? And it's I think, sort of I think gold. Bobby might come down for March to Victory, Dick. Hey, the, from nah. what I can tell from the... Okay, March, maybe it's March, March to Shane Taylor 5. How about that? <laughs> what Whatever. Uh, yeah, so uh, <laughs> Alexander Cars in the chat room. RWA Cash for Gold. <laughs> oh my god, that would be amazing! Oh, 
fuck. I would totally go see RWA Cash for gold. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> So, Sorg, you're going to be there. Uh, Hi, the- speculations is I'll be there. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, always a fun time with RWA. Um, they're going to have a rematch with a uh, former WCW guy, Lodi, with a uh, friend against friend of the show, Ryan Ryan Edmonds. I this font. Oh, is, who can't this, read this, now? No, this font's really weird. I thought it said <laughs> Connors, but uh, that's not right. Uh, I just expected everything to be Scottish because everything's in uh, St. Patrick's Day motif here. Uh, so that's Irish. Uh, what, what, whichever the one with the skirts, right? Um, anyways, uh, no, no, yeah, yeah, good show. Uh, uh, as always, should be coming up there. Hot crowd down there in West Newton. Mr. Russell fan, and uh, hopefully uh, you haven't laid anything up, but we've been trying to get interviews uh, before the shows here uh, like that, that we attend. Awesome, awesome. I definitely uh, so if you are in the West Newton area, I definitely encourage you to check that out. Say uh, mm-hmm. hi to Sorg mm-hmm. and see some great uh, sure. RWA action. Uh, and But also uh, in the PA area on the 23rd will be PWX uh, Pro Wrestling Express in McKeesport at the PWX Wrestleplex for March Madness. Say that again, Russell fan. McKeesport. There you go. There you go. I thought the E. McKeesport. McKee needs a port. Yeah, March Madness. Yeah. Okay, no one needs to book a show in Meadville and expect me to talk about <laughs> you, everybody, stop booking into me, Advil. That's um, a real problem. Um, yeah, so PWX yeah. is up this weekend. Same night as RWA, and there's been a lot of overlap, but you're going to have that because these guys these guys have shows like every other week. Like, mm. legitimately, every other week. I'm looking at two Aprils, two Mays, two Junes. Holy hell. Um, but I guess they're That's doing... The best one. I guess they're doing that for the TV stuff, but still, they, they, they do like an hour of TV a week. I don't see how that works math wise uh but i haven't been to any of their shows lately to really know what's going on just know a little bit i've heard about from uh joe dombrowski and everything because he's out there commenting commentating for that um i gotta say uh, you know normally i don't talk too much about pwx uh just because they're to be honest it just hasn't been interesting for a long time but there's a lot going on there i've been really excited since they got their building uh back a couple years ago the anniversary show and seeing what they're kind of doing with that um they have a lot of familiar faces popping up over there if you look through um it, you know guys like super hentai guys like uh uh uh, uh bobby uh, bobby beverly and nikki valentino from uh, prime wrestling and iwc gory's down wrestling. there strider uh chris larusso is wrestling. always down there shane taylor uh, matt justice i mean it's it's a it's getting to be an interesting mix of talent uh, I, didn't, I, I didn't know if I saw him booked on uh, for that show, but uh, Troy Lords, I think, too. Yeah, Troy Lords has been in and out of there too. Yeah, uh, I mean, I mean, PWX has always been like the guys that that weren't working IWC or RWA for the longest time, right? Mm-hmm. And, and it really felt like it was just like a big collection of weekend warriors to me. Um, you know, not as bad as some other promotions, but still. Um, I mean, it's one of those promotions that's like been around for I think what seventeen years, um, and I really want to see what they do with it um and of course they've got this tv show uh going on saturday night as you can probably or saturday morning uh, as you can probably notice from my tweets on saturday morning after slam um i love the wrestling love the stuff i'm seeing but man that is like one of the worst no no it's not the worst (laughs) <laughs> no, I just thought I'd think. No, that's not the worst I've seen. I love. I love that. I, give any, them I think that's for anyone that's like frequent in these shows in their area. They can always top them with like a worse show. Well, no, like just I, like looking on YouTube, people are like, "We got an internet show," and it's like, "Wow, there's this camera and it's up like this, and there's no commentary, and it's just a long twenty minute match of two people that are really skinny, and I don't care about them." <laughs> well, uh, at, least, at least you guys get is, internet shows. <laughs> There's like maybe two people here. I'm that fairly that certain. I'm fairly certain the people in the audience are not able to get this internet show. Okay, um, it, it's it was one of those kind of deals. But no, no. But for this, I mean, um, there's. I guess from a video standpoint, I'm I see so much potential in what they could be doing with that building and everything visually. You know, right. and I know they have a hot crowd there from attending shows there. And actually, it's one of those I want to go see more shows there because they, you know, I'm liking the lineups I'm seeing, right? Uh, but it's just, you know, schedules and whatnot. Um, but again, the wrestling is great. It's just like, guys, you know, you got to get your production up. I and and I understand they're on like, you know, pretty much a 
you know, half tier, like they're not even on Comcast in the area, which is basically what everybody has. Raise your hands. Like you guys, you guys all have Comcast, right? Nobody has Fios Comcast. like me, right? I uh, have Fios. I mean, you have Fios out there. Okay. So you, know, you can check this no, out. I have, I have clear. Clear? Yeah. It's clear. like a third party thing. It's awesome though. You have TV on there? No, I don't know. I was talking about the TV. Because they, they, oh. they, most people have Comcast, so they're not even on that stuff. They're not doing anything online with it. Um, you know, which, you know, even like Prime Wrestling, they have their stuff up online, uh, uh, you know, after they show it on, on, uh, on what, uh, sports, sports time. Sports time in Ohio. Thank you. Thank you. I don't know. I want to say prime time, but that's not right. I was, I was just slipping into my head a second. Um, so, I mean, th- so that way, like, you guys get to see it. Like, I mean, I mean, God, you know, a wrestle fan, you called out Ben Boone on, on Raw last night. I you did. Know? I mean, like, I, I was actually like, because I couldn't, I couldn't really, I'm like, I think that's Ben Boone. And I was like, you know, look at the screen and looking in the ring. And I actually like tweeted at Joe and like, that's him, isn't it? Because I figured he'd have a better l- l- look on TV and everything. And then I, the, before I get a response, I get wrestle fans saying, hey, Ben Boone. You know, I mean, <laughs> that, 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 that's a perfect point. You're in freaking Corpus Christi, you know, in this, you know, um, and, and, and internet. And people were saying, like, oh, you know, PWX, I know I'll get exposure because it's on TV. It's like, Really, you know, <laughs> I, 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 I'm just so no, I, I'm just so over TV as a as a platform right now. I, you I know, especially you in this freaking day and age, it's like maybe you can get people in Pittsburgh that'll see this and maybe they'll come to shows. Maybe, and I'd like to see. I, I want them to please prove me wrong, right? But I'm flipping through and you see this thing. I could barely hear Joe Dabrowski this week talking, and I. Like hearing the 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 dulcet tones of Joe Nebraska calling my stuff, uh, but uh, it's just not there. You know, it's not conveying him conveying the, the show. It's not conveying your audience, which I know is a hot crowd. You know, uh, like really the wrestling is good in the ring, but it's such god awful weird angles and lighting that makes me look makes it look like it's from the eighties or something. I don't know what's going on down there. You know, visually. Um, yeah, I feel you. And I think – and this is just from the stuff I've seen in the Texas area. I feel like not a lot of companies do want to put that time into production and putting no. their stuff on the internet, I think. for And like you mentioned about like me knowing like uh, Benjamin Boone because of you know me watching Prime. And you know, yeah. even though I'm nowhere near Ohio, like I watch their product because they put it online and they, and they keep up a regular schedule with it. And it's good content and it's well filmed and you know, it's not you know, the most in-depth thing. Mm-hmm. But it's it's something. Uh, I know I keep up with them. Uh, I keep up with uh, a company called Metro Pro Wrestling out of Kansas, mm-hmm. just because they put out internet content. Exactly, and, and that's and that's uh, and I granted like these guys don't sell DVDs, so I guess they wouldn't get much out of promoting to you, you know. But it, it could only help, you know. I mm. it, 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 even even the show at the values they do. At least if you put it online, I think it would be more acceptable. Uh, if you put it on where you put it, looking the way it does, it looks like cable access. Yeah. I'm sorry. It looks like damn cable access. And and this is not, I, I don't mean this as a, you know, I, I know, you know, I tweeted out one thing. You're like, well, you know, that sounds like an advertisement for Sorgatron Media. And they're kind of like half joking and stuff. But I don't mean it to sound that way. This is the way I think wrestling should be done. You know, if you right. want people to give a shit about your product, this is the way wrestling should be done visually. You need somebody that gives a shit about what they're shooting. And mm. and so that the guy clicking through, you got guys like Chachi out there that you're competing with Raw. You know, granted, you don't have the money around it. Ring of Honor is doing a really good job of the doing the best with what they got and making it look good. And doing they're doing very and well. they're doing it. a great job. They're doing it great. I think Prime does a very serviceable job of what they do with what they have. You know, um, I could nitpick at that even. But still, they're, they're on there. They look professional. The graphics look good. Um, and that's your competition, you know. Plus, how many other things on the Internet? I, right. I, I just can't see it. I'm not sold on this TV exposure on over the air or the second tier video that neighborhoods don't even have an opportunity to get in sometimes in Pittsburgh, most of the time in Pittsburgh. What are, what are you getting out of all the effort you're putting into what you are putting in out there? Right. You know? I th- and I think, I think the way, like, and I think you sort of 
can agree with me on this. It does fall down, I think, to the company. As far as like the Texas stuff goes, like there are so many groups I think that are just content with having someone, you know, with a flip cam or something film a match and put it online and film their whole show basically and put it online. Mm-hmm. Instead of, you know, getting your own production crew, you know, making your own content and, you know, putting some time and effort into it, I think, and, mm-hmm. and taking some pride in it. And there's um, and they, some comments from the chat room here all have <laughs> been ranting. Uh, John Fun says, well, we will either watch it or don't give a snap about your product, you know. Um, and I'm not going to keep, I mean, I want to keep checking in because I want to see if they get better. You know, they're just starting and maybe it's a new production crew or something. And, 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 and I hope they take the critiques that they're even looking on social media or anything like that. Um, because it's like, no, I want you to get better. I want their, I don't give a crap that you're the only company that I'm not working with in town. I just want them to do good. You know, if then, because then that makes my company say, hey, we should get TV, you know, or we should do this, this, and this. And I'm like, good, right. good, you know, push push you know my my people to do the things that i think they should be doing you know by these guys stepping up and becoming competition you know yeah. it, it's that whole idea of you know uh uh Mer- you know it's a whole like wcw you know was competition and made wwe so much better right mm-hmm. so i would love to see that happen in your backyard you know especially since we get so many companies here you know i i think i i think you're you're delusional if you don't say iwc is the top dog here um and what are you are you going to model yourself after them or are you going to try to do something different yeah. you know uh, i think pwx is doing that uh, to a point with the building and everything and i just love you know i think uh i think there's a lot of potential there so to be something different not what they go for and be more localized but that's fine so right <sighs> that, that, that was, was nice fun. Sorry, I, I'm sorry. This has been building off uh, for so many weeks. For me. no, I love it. I, I think I think you know people do need to listen, and I think I, need to take take the time to you know focus on that kind of stuff instead of focusing on oh let's let's put on a good show this month. Yeah, and it's a little inside baseball, I know, but it's just I I just I, I don't know. It just like I, well, I see well I see so many people that we work with for the show and everything and, and and I don't want them to get into something that I don't think is going to bear fruit you know what I mean yeah. uh, versus other other things that might be coming up um because I and again I don't know you know many you know beyond what I see but I I just you know that that's how I feel about it so uh breaking indie minute news in the chat room the poster for RWA cash for gold has been <laughs> <laughs> Send that there right away. Thanks, thanks Bring your gold Alex to the show, Alex. and we'll pay you cash. <laughs> it's amazing. I love it. I love it. I will buy all the DVDs. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. I'm saving that right now. Is oh, that no. McKee Sport? What's that? <laughs> is that McKee Sport? McKee as as Sport. There's two E's, so we made it long, right? Let so. the E's breathe. Let the E's breathe. Wrestle <laughs> yeah. fan, what's going on? It's not in Pittsburgh, please. I'm sure they're uh, sick of hearing about it. Some place that's completely different than Pittsburgh. It's Florida. <laughs> that's pretty different. Florida. Yeah. <laughs> my no, name is not state. really. There's no. all old Pittsburgh people there. Uh, oh. also, that's uh, true, actually. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, March 23rd. Uh, a lot of events on March 23rd. Uh, Shine Wrestling is holding their eighth event uh, from at Ybor City, Florida at the Orpheum. Uh, it's going to be a big, big event. Uh, you can go there live at the Orpheum in Ybor City, or you can catch it live on iPay-Per-View at www.live.com uh, to see the best female wrestling talent in the United States competing for Shine Wrestling. The main event is an eight-woman tag team match uh, featuring the uh, tr- uh, the uh, stable known as Valkyrie of Rain, Eva Lise, uh, Allison Kay, and Taylor Maid, taking on the team of Amazing Kong, uh, Mia Yim, Christina Von Erie, and the debut of Angelina Love. Uh, wait, so that's wait. Gonna- wait, can we go back? Hey, Lunchbox. Yeah. Did you oh, hear yeah. that? No. Okay, repeat that. Amazing Kong is wrestling at a place in Florida. That's amazing. Aww. You're going, you're going, you're going to Florida, aren't you? <laughs> amazing no, Kong you know is what, at this at point, I'd be more interested if she was wrestling in a place uh, in Connecticut. No. Okay. I mean, I, let me, Amazing Kong is wrestling in a place in Florida that isn't TNA. Uh, so yeah, 
it's it's gonna be it's gonna be a really interesting show. Shine has I think really been delivering with some really awesome stuff. They're starting to develop more storyline stuff now with uh, the uh, institution of Valkyrie, the new uh, stable that they have. Um, and it should be a really interesting stuff. They have the quality as far as their DVD or as far as their iPay per views and their DVDs for that matter go. Um, so I definitely encourage you to check that out. Uh, they have a definitely uh, definitely a great product that you should check out if you're a fan of good uh, female wrestling. I, I encourage you to check that out. So at shinewrestling.com where you can get your tickets for that event at the Orpheum in Ybor City. Uh, and the last thing I do want to mention real quick is that WrestleCon is coming up. I don't want anyone to forget about WrestleCon, uh, the WrestleMania weekend in New Jersey, April 5th through the 7th. Uh, it's going to be an amazing time. Uh, go and meet all of your favorite professional wrestlers of the past and the present. Uh, and go- Sorgatron. And sorry, John, he will be there. That guy, uh, he'll he'll be selling eight by tens, maybe. I think. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I said uh, it, so now can, he has can to. Can I do lay it out? Can I lay out what's going to happen with this? Uh, we were going for the launch of. If you go to MontrealTheory.com, uh, the trailer is now up for what's been taking up the last, past two years of my life. Um, and uh, that yeah, that will be released there. You can pre-order it right now uh, over on that site. Uh, so we'll be selling that. So 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 I, we're gonna have like a bit of the table there for Montreal Theory. And then I'm gonna have my half for IWC DVDs, right? Uh, and maybe some RWA stuff, right? Right. Uh, and then Joe is gonna have Prime Wrestling and apparently old VHSs and action figures he's trying to sell. So then- are you saying this is what you can expect? Uh, and then Virgil's going to be right And I'm sure Virgil's going to show up. Um, <laughs> I, 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 know, I know Joe's working on some wrestling wrestler guests uh, to, to hang out at our booth, but I hope that doesn't mean we're going to give the Virgil a sandwich. At, uh, next, time, next time anyone sees oh, Virgil at a con, Virgil uh, be sure to ask him about the time that the great Muda died of AIDS. Oh, my God. Oh, what? <laughs> what? Yeah. I, I'm just gonna leave it at that. All right, all right. Is there uh, anything else with the indie minute here? But also, but also with Help. also with WrestleCon, uh, check out an event because uh, there's gonna be a lot of companies that are gonna be holding events uh, that uh, weekend. CZW, Shimmer, uh, Dragon Gate USA, Evolve, uh, Kaiju Big Battle. Uh, tons of tons wrestling. and tons of companies. Uh, so if you're into any of that stuff, they hold they are holding events all that weekend, uh, the fifth, the sixth, and the seventh uh, in New Jersey. So uh, if you're around there for WrestleMania weekend, I mean, why not stop on by and you know it's and be like go see some- wrestling day the weekend. Kind of, kind of. <laughs> and, and go see some uh, – oh, and $5 Wrestling as well. But we do a show just, there. I, thank you for finally re- recognizing $5 Wrestling. wrestling. Yeah, this, I, this, I had to save them for last. I mean, this list on. is absolutely insane that, he, that they, they keep adding to. $5 I mean – Is $5 Wrestling still on like 11.55 in the, in the evening? That's from- <laughs> yeah, I think it is. I think it is. Like, I mean, seriously, I, I, I really wish I could get more of you guys to come with us to this thing. Because look at, look at this lineup: Boogeyman, Eugene. Oh. Uh, I mean, I mean, uh, uh, Kevin Nash, uh, Outback Jack, the Warlord, Ashley Massaro. Wait, I wait. mean, this is the who's who's who of who we've made fun of in the seven years of the show. First of all, and uh, will Lita be there? Be? I'm sure she will at this point. So, <laughs> I mean, it's just absolutely. Virgil might actually be there. Absolutely ridiculous. I saw a guy who looked Bobby like Nikolai Volkov walking out of our Michael's craft store. Uh, yeah. Lita will be there. Bobby had his own little. Amy Dumas uh, is there. Is she is scheduled? Oh, wow. Oh. They really were just like, who's everyone that the Mayhem show has made fun of? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Bret man, Hart, Ric Flair, Hulk Hogan's going to be there. I, I don't know what. Is going to happen. And I, think, I think we saved Jushin Thunder Liger quick. Someone make a joke about Jushin Thunder Liger. What a fucking dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, for real. All right, how, anything else, Russell Finn? How much dick can you suck and not have chapped lips and tongue? Chapped tongue. Jushin <laughs> Thunder Liger. Oh, my God, that gets the break. I'm, I'm surprised he can do it through that mask, right, oh, Lunchbox? No. Oh, he's got a special dick-sucking flap. It's Velcro. It's like... <laughs> that's what happens. Wow. And that, my friends, is the Indie Minute for this week. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back. Hey, guys, guess what? The pens won. Yeah. <laughs> That's the 
fastest way. But you guys failed to notice that I also need time to piss and shit and eat. No, you fucking wear a diaper. You wear a diaper like that fucking astronaut lady. Give him a little iPad for the rewards thingy. Is plug in your thing and. Do I have to pay more because I'm fat? No, 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 no. They're not weighing you. Yogurt. Got to stop playing number munchers now. Yep. You? It's yeah. Go Tom. Why? Munchers. I'd like to point out my uh, my ladder prop behind me. Oh yeah. The Wrestling Mayhem Show is brought to you by Almond Milk. Suck on that almond titty. <laughs> Welcome back to the Wrestling Mayhem Show. Now it's time for a little segment we like to call Remember When? Okay, last night was my first ever Raw being live in the audience. I want to hear what you what you guys remember from your favorite live event experience. Sorg, what was your favorite? Uh, but hands down, my favorite has got to be the time I went to New York, not with DJ Lunchbox. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the the fabled uh, trip. That's the reason why. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's a little bit on goal for that. What what happened there? Um, yeah. But no, it was the uh, Mayhem in Manhattan trip, the fabled one. There was a special one. I think I re-released it over Christmas uh, this year or last on the feed or something. Uh, but, uh, or I listened to it or, or something. Uh, but, uh, <laughs> I, I don't know. Something that happened. And Chachi's funny because he's drunk. He yeah, has the same chat. Uh, but no, we went to Madison Square Garden. We were like two rows from the back, but it was still amazing that Royal Rumble. Um, there was actually, uh, where was it? Some, some, I was actually uh, reminisced on this because I was at a show selling DVDs, uh, uh, in the last month and some kid like bought, that Royal Rumble off of uh, one of the other tables there, and I, I got talking about it. Um, and uh, it was just a great show, and, and the fact that we got an entire crowd to say, start chanting Edge and get Chad on our shoulders, <laughs> and he was taking pictures with, like, Asian families, uh, it was just tremendous. Uh, it was it was the best experience, you know, uh, out of all of it. Just, just a blast to be there with a bunch of friends in, in, in someplace really cool like Madison Square Garden. Um, and get the, you know, get the kind of get, get that off the bucket list, you know? So, uh, so yeah, yeah, that'd be, that made mine, mine hands down. <laughs> what about you, LB? Uh, I have a couple. Um, one of them was my first live raw show, which I did see with Zorg. Yeah. And, uh, it was, um, right before the, not right before, but it was before the first ECW one night stand. And, uh, it was that week that, uh, the 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 majority of the ECW guys came back to WWE. So like Sabu was there for the first time, and and Tommy Dreamer had been in and out, but I think fucking Sandman showed up. It was good. It was it was I was really excited to see him. Uh, and I I remember chanting ECW so hard and not pausing to breathe that I got lightheaded and had to sit back down. <laughs> yeah. It was fucking awesome. Uh, it was really good. Uh, my other one was way, way back uh, when I was a very little kid. I went to a, uh, uh, you know, a high school gym and watched a wrestling show with my grandfather, and I didn't know any better. And uh, Doink the Clown was there, um, oh. and I hated Doink the Clown the whole time. But uh, anyway, a bunch of them were uh, running around the ring, and I tried to trip the bad guy. Uh, fortunately I'm like, I didn't make any contact and nobody noticed, but, um, I mean, I didn't know any better. And I look back now and I'm like, Jesus Christ, what if I had tripped that guy? So, um, so yeah, those, uh, Riz, what about you? Well, I'm going to say something that's very, very common for people in Pittsburgh. My first event, my first live major event that I remember clearly is King of the Ring 1998. Wow. <laughs> and everybody knows what happened that day. What happened that day? Uh, mankind, you know, 
fell from you know the hell in the cell and crashed into tables. Oh. Had his had his had his uh no had, had his tooth coming through his nose at one point. Oh, and started you know, you know oh. that thing. Oh. but but what? But here here's the thing. Um, who do you know who the uh, King of the Ring was in 1998? Nope. Anybody? <laughs> Um, Anybody? Was it Mabel? No. Stone Cold? No. Hmm. Ken Shamrock. Whoa. Whoa! He was a king. <laughs> oh wait, it gets even better. No. <laughs> Who did Ken Shamrock beat to become the king of the ring? We Ryan, Ryan Shamrock. The finals. <laughs> <laughs> Steve Blackman. If, no. Oh, that would have been what epic. if I said? <laughs> He is someone who is in the main event of WrestleMania. CM Punk? Triple H? He Chad beat the Pat. Rock. The Rock? He beat the uh, Rock in the final. Wow. Nice. Wow. Was he rocking my idea? No. He wow. was that's the when, Rock. That's when Ken Shamrock meant something. Yeah. Feinstein. <laughs> no, not What's really. Up? And also, uh, Al Snow and Head teamed up and lost against... Oh, head <laughs> All right, how about you, Bobby? All right, Bobby. I have two memories that, uh, of my favorites. You better um, say what I think you're about to say, Bobby. It, w- it was a, a long time ago. Um, the match was Razor Ramon versus Shawn Michaels mm-hmm. in a ladder match. Was it 10? No. <laughs> it was, a, it was a, a house show in Johnstown. <laughs> oh, sh- oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and... Razor Ramon fell off the ladder and was laying in the ring. And a guy in the audience just yells after the match. The referee was done checking on him. He's like, don't just look at him. Help him. <laughs> <laughs> it was yeah. one of my favorite moments of, of just, of, of just you know, it was amazing. Um, another one was when uh, AJ, uh, or Bo, Bo Diggity as, as he's otherwise known, joined me for a house show in Johnstown. And we were about... I'd say the first row of seats that wasn't ringside. So we had we had good seats, you know. And and as the War Memorial is usually, it was pretty empty. <laughs> there was it was there were like maybe two three rows behind us that were like filled, and then like sparingly on the the uh, everybody else was scattered through the, the arena, so you could hear pretty well. Uh, so me and AJ started yelling things at wrestlers randomly. <laughs> Uh, we yelled to Seamus, what's it like being one shade away from being clear? Uh, we yelled to Dolph Ziggler, did you just give him a noogie? In which Dolph Ziggler, Dolph Ziggler replied, what? Right at us. It was amazing. So th- those are my two favorite live show event memories. And I had one last night, too, when I when I yelled at David Tongo, but I don't think he heard me. <laughs> <laughs> I yelled, I yelled, Somebody check on David Atonga. <laughs> and he actually got up and started moving and then was attacked by Ryback again last night. But yeah, it was fun. Awesome. I thought I thought your memory is going to be about us with, with, with Lunchbox and me and Lady Lunchbox. Well, that was a you, good you memory. Didn't, you didn't have you didn't have a memory with us. <laughs> <laughs> Also, also, I, I, take pride, I, I take pride in the fact that somewhere in Pittsburgh right now, there is a piece of paper floating around that says, Bobby, no. Yeah, that is true. <laughs> somewhere yeah, floating around, hopefully. WrestleFan, what did you do this week that will, rec- that will be your, your remember when? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, um, that's the way it transitions. Because you're um, a fetus. I, I do have a, a live event memory that I, I, I really I really do love and I enjoy. Uh, because it last uh, it was, month. It was June 24th, uh, 2007. I remember that date succinctly because that was two days before my birthday. Uh, and, you know, I, I got all my friends together actually from, uh, from uh, I think it was middle school at the time. Yeah. Um, yeah, look how young I am. Um, to uh, to get together, and we were going to go to Raw live in Corpus Christi at the American Bank Center. It was going to be, you know, an awesome night. We all got our tickets. There was like six of us there. It was really awesome. Uh, we were going to go to the Bank Center. They were doing this awesome super show, and it was, you know, it was going to be a, uh, everyone was going to be there, and it's going to be a really really fun time. And we're so excited. And we drive up there, and 
they they wouldn't let us in because uh, I I guess like someone like uh, killed his wife and his son, oh, and no. they wouldn't let anyone in the building. No, I, I never mm. heard of that. I, huh. I I I can't I, I can't succinctly remember that, but I I remember they they wouldn't let us in the building, uh, and we had to go home uh, for uh, what was my birthday party, uh, which was going to a live oh. raw. So oh. that raw didn't because, exist because someone wait uh, I thought was, this is supposed family. to be favorite experience. Oh oh no! Yeah, was, great it, job, Russell fan. It, it, it was it was. You fun. brought you brought everybody back down to you earth. Blew, Great you job. blew your assignment. I hope you you're failed. Happy now. If we're going I, I, least I had, favorite, I, I have one for that. that. I had cake. That was fun. <laughs> if we're going for least favorite, I have one for that. The WWE <laughs> lost the ring. <laughs> that was an excuse for canceling a show in Johnstown one time. We lost, lost the, the ring. You don't lose the ring for Raw, you know. All right, all right. Enough of that. Right, let's go check out the Minute of Mayhem with Mad Mike and a special message. Ladies and boys and girls, fans and friends across the land, it's Mad Mike once again with your Minute of Mayhem. Okay, so I'm going to do something a little bit differently today. I'm going to hand out Matt Mike's Raw Stars of the Night. The first star goes to the WrestleMania undercard. Yes, we have seen a vs. Rock. We have Triple H vs. Lesnar. We have Punk and Taker. But I gotta be honest, this is the most fun undercard I've seen so far for WrestleMania in a long time. You got... Biggie and Dolph versus Team Hell No, which is going to be a lot of fun. You got potentially Jericho versus Fandango, which, I mean, that could be interesting. It could be a thing, I guess. Um, you got Ryback and Mark Henry. That's going to be so much goddamn fun. And The Shield against Sho, Orton, and Sheamus, which I hope they make it some sort of a new DQ match or something of that nature, because then that'll be a little bit more fun. Um... Looks like you could have Miz and Barrett, and maybe Cesaro and Sin Cara, or something of that nature. And I'm still holding out hope for New Age Outlaws versus Road Scholars. That's just me. The second star goes to Titus O'Neil. S- somehow, get him on the Mania card. Just get him talking, get him doing something. He's fantastic. He needs to be on TV more. And the third star, of course, goes to our man, the earnest tacky sacker you'll ever see, CM Punk. Um, I hope when I finish recording this, I'm going to look online to see if there is a version of CM Punk's promo last night down to the Harlem Globetrotters music. If there is, I will post it in the doc and you will have to play it on the show. Um, but CM Punk's promo last night was fantastic. Um... It's just so much fun to watch, and he, like, he's not going to beat the streak, let's be honest. But he could, I guess, because CM Punk is the kind of guy who would totally take a DQ or a count out. I mean, it would suck to see a taker streak end that way, but he's the kind of asshole that would do it, and that would, like, give him legendary heat for the rest of his career. Um, otherwise, Triple H and Lesnar, the stipulation, if Hayden really could have made anything he wanted, why not say the ownership of WWE is on the line? Because, I mean, you know, Vince was kind of the one who put Heyman out of business. Anyway, that's just me. I'm just thinking outside the box. But, um, TNA was awesome. I'm not going to speak about it. Um, you got to go to WrestlingManShow.com and read my review read my review. It's funny, I even make a, a Russell fan reference in there. You're welcome, you little bastard. And, uh, yeah, so, Mania, three weeks away, boys. I'm gonna have tons of videos and footage and coverage and everything from it, so, uh, till then, peace, bitches. The Wrestling Mayhem Show is brought to you by Soy Milk. We figured out how to milk a soy. Hey guys, thanks Mad Mike for that minute of mayhem. Uh, yeah, he did find the video he put in the doc. Uh, we're tweeting it out for you guys. Check it out on there, and I'll try to get it out to the Facebook and everything too uh, for his Harlem Glo- Globe Clotter. Globe Clotter? What? Is that the, the 
It's, it's the Harlem Globetrotters, but they're fighting uh, to fight uh, blood clots in uh, people. So go donate. Go donate to um, like hemophilia or, or something help, like that. Helping uh, uh, get rid of blood uh-huh. clots. It's a horrible, I'll be, it's a horrible, horrible uh, disease, and it, it needs to be rid of. There you are. Uh, but anyways, yeah, thanks for that. Uh, but say, like I said, big I'm here again coming up. Uh, for, uh, and no, hemophilia is when you can't stop bleeding. Yeah, I think that's what we're talking about. <laughs> the no, it's talking about blood clots. Your blood cl- can't clot if you have, have But you want them to clot, so then they're a positive team in the long run, right? Like, anyways, anyways, WrestleMania is coming up. Uh, of course, Mad Mike there. I'll be there as we talk about with WrestleCon. Uh, we'll, we'll look for some. Look for a lot of cons. But make sure you follow us on Twitter at my at Mad Mike four eight eight three. And of course, at Sag- Sorgatron. Sagatron. Sorgatron for me. Um, <laughs> Sagatron. Sagatron. Oh, man, so many, so many puns in the chat room. Look for the Harlem Globeclotters to play the, uh, <laughs> the, the, uh, Washington aneurysms. Bobby, that pun, Washington that pun Canada. got you the next segment. What's going on? <laughs> oh, I get to do the next segment. Yeah, let's point the yeah. mic at my face, too. <laughs> Uh, it's time for comments from the unwashed masses. Yay! Where we look at the worst yeah, yeah. comments on He's got WWE's it. Facebook page. Cena is being a champ in 10 years while The Rock is busy making movies. My thing popped up in front of it. In 10 years. <laughs> in 10 years. Da, da, the Rock da, da, does da, da, not da, da, deserve <laughs> to be the WWE champion. Dot, 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 dot. The Rock, the part time champ. In quotes. Don't know why that had to be in quotes. But. Okay, the next one. Triple should have a rip. <laughs> sh- Triple should have rip apart. Hey ass. More. It was great. It was so great to see Hey ass getting a beat beating. Next time they should give it more airtime. Triple H will win. Hmm. <laughs> no punctuation. Hey ass is pulling very by the way. Hmm. This is in reference to Jack Swagger. I agree. Weed, not we, weed the people thing is getting old and annoying. I've never liked Jack Jack Swagger, especially right now. He's such an a-hole. He's a copycat of Kurt Angle or Ken Shamrock with the ankle lock finisher and saying he's real American. I wander, W-A-N-D-E-R. What Hulk Hogan thinks about about that. I uh, hate how that. Swagger and his boyfriend Zeb Coulter are being racist to wrestlers from another country like Jericho, Del Rio, and so on. Yeah, because you know who's a real he, American? Is Ken he Shamrock. On Jericho? Yeah, I don't, I don't get that real American part for Ken Shamrock. Yeah, Shamrock. Mm. Shamrock. Mm. All right, I want, do I want a Shamrock shake this week. Wow. Thanks for that. Uh, anyways, uh, yeah, okay, we talked a bit about live events. Uh, Raw last night. Uh, I, impressions. Uh, Who were they? Uh, I was surprised uh, how well it came off in person, a whole three-hour Raw. Yeah. That was good. Like, I didn't feel like, I didn't feel, I felt it was paced well. I didn't feel like I was like, oh my god, what's next, you know? Mm-hmm. Uh, the matches, we know we saw three, four really good matches. Mm-hmm. You know, I didn't feel like there was fluff from like, oh, whatever, you know, uh, like I have in the past. Um, the only weird thing is that the, one of the matches that <clears throat> didn't seem to carry over as well as I thought it would mm-hmm. was the Del Rio yeah. the, the Del Rio match. Yeah. And that was right. awesome. Uh, or watching it on TV. Yeah, what? Didn't carry over though. Real yeah. life, it it, it, it was it, slow. It sounded quiet. Yeah, yeah. nobody reacted to it. No. Yeah. And they were they were cheering for. The weird thing was they were cheering for Jack Swagger at the end. Okay, okay. They may, uh, they were chanting USA. Yeah, I know. Yes. Well, I, well, they were chanting it during the match, right? I yeah. No. I, well, so I, so maybe they're Cody Rhodes fans. I don't know. I. I don't know. I I don't know. I don't know. And 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 also, Lunchbox brought this up before, and I think Bobby did too. When when wrestlers leave the ring without mm-hmm. wrestling, <laughs> yeah, don't chant. They can't wrestle. 
or you can't wrestle because they can wrestle. They just don't want. They to. They, 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 they don't won't want. wrestle. Yeah, that they, everyone started chanting oddly. You know, you can't wrestle. Like when Fandango wouldn't do it, and they did when, it like um, three times that Sandow whole night. Left. When what's yeah? When Sandow left, so we Sandow were chanting, left, "You won't shield. wrestle," which is they a more shan- accurate statement. You're welcome. They chanted it during the Shields match and the Dark match. Yeah, <laughs> and I would I would counter it with yes they can. <laughs> yeah, people I I think the whole like in, or the whole community needs a lesson on chanting. <laughs> like, <laughs> well, well, wait, here's community. the problem. Wait, wait, wait. Here's the problem though. The people that were chanting and getting going chants like that that didn't make sense are the same people in your uh, unwashed masses emails. Mm-hmm. You yeah. know. I mean, this, this is they're, this they're, is a one to one thing. Same, they were also the guys uh, at the TNA Lockdown pay per view that were chanting "This is awesome" after the Jeff Hardy and Bully Ray video package. <laughs> <laughs> well, and, and that's the other thing. Is there's these people, and then they see you know matches where people see, you know they they see it on TV, so they want want to be they want to emulate and be part of it, right? Uh, you know that works in great effect when you have something like the what chance, you know, that everybody gets behind and they go with that. Unfortunately, people still do that because they remember that from ten years there, ago. There was a what chant in our in the pizza place we went to. <laughs> but every yeah. time they call a number for an order, they go what? Well, yeah, the, the guys, the guys sad, there were. It means it's never going away. Well, and that's when you go to when you go to something like Raw, you're getting again that lowest common denominator as we talk about. You know, <laughs> uh, and, okay, and I get that. Yeah, and, and I and I and I know there's gonna be low common denominator people there, but the, I I sometimes like the lowest common that's denominator that's doesn't, like doesn't need to be that low. It is though, guys. Is. This is. I this is America. Get, this is this is professional wrestling. It's not you know, supposed America. to be high level stuff. Okay, it it's lower aisle. level denominator. It is it, but but that is the that's population. It. Yeah, that's, that's the it, middle that's to lower that's class. But, that's what well, they're trying to hit there, guys. But I do think a lot of the lowest common denominator stuff, like the what chance mm-hmm. and stuff like that, it's because the uh, WWE's trained their audience to be that way. It's well, one word. And, and, they, and if they can train their audience to be that way, they can train them otherwise. No, no, you're wrong. WWE hasn't trained their audience to do anything. No. The audience has trained WWE to do this kind of shit yep. because they pay money for it. Yep. yep. I don't know. You can't, you can't have it both ways. You can't have wrestling be fantastic and appeal to us as intelligent people and, and still have it be you know the opiate of the masses that's accessible to anyone – and especially the lowest common denominator, because uh, we've we've mentioned this on the show time and time again. The stuff that we like and the stuff that we buy mm-hmm. is not the same as the stuff that the average fan likes and the average fan buys. That's why they cater to them because they are shelling out you know shitloads of money for floor seats and a million T-shirts for their kids, and we're sitting in the nosebleeds bitching about nacho prices. Yeah, and, 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 and I that's get what that. Damien's- that, that's why Damien Sandow's a bad guy. Yeah. <laughs> even, you know, I, even better, I, I wanna, even better that's want... why we spend our money at indie shows for those t-shirts. Mm. Because I that does appeal to us. I wouldn't want Damien Sandow any other way. And I well, don't think they have to, you know, make Damien Sandow a face and put him on TV more and have him sell him his merch or do something with, like, say, like, David Otunga or, like, the three-man band. But, like... Band. There's a way to take the people that all that everyone loves and still change them so it's not and I'm not saying change them entirely but like make minor changes to where you know this lowest the stuff we're seeing from the lowest common denominator doesn't happen and you're still going to get them to buy your stuff. Yeah, but there's a dynamic. Somebody's got to be the heel. Somebody's got to be the good guy. I mean, and 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 absolutely. I mean, and those guys still sell T-shirts and stuff, regardless, because you know people love bad guys. You know, and not just us high level smart mark indie wrestling going folk like us. You know, mm. uh, I mean, it, it, not not it, the guy who wore a pink uh, <laughs> hardcore unicorn, wrestling shirt, unicorn. hardcore <laughs> wrestling rainbow shirt. <laughs> I mean, there. This is this is the lowest common denominator too, because it's counterculture. You know, it is. It, you know, it, it, people wanted to boo the 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 bad guys because they think they're cooler. You know, uh, and that's coming to a mass thing. That's how things like the Stone Cold Steve Austin thing happened, and they were still in that kind of shockwave from that 
you know, 15 years ago. Um, so they'll sell a good number of T-shirts for the bad guys, the CM Punks, the Damian Sandals, Cody Rhodes kind of things, you know, mm-hmm. um, just fine. Uh, I don't think you had to turn, turn face or anything. We saw that dynamic. That's fine. Hey, I, hey, um, Booker T's going in the Hall of Fame, guys. Holy shit, he yeah, is. He is. Holy and shit. I scared a kid. Yeah, he did. I scared the shit out of a kid. <laughs> yes, he did. And his mom. <laughs> well, 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 well when, when you're, when you're going to show the Booker T package. Oh, no. <laughs> and when I heard Hulk Hogan. <laughs> come, I, I I just stopped everything I was doing, and I lost. I lost it. Further I was sitting proof. right next to him. Further uh, proof. Okay, I, I you just lost Bob. it. I thought. I thought you just. I thought what you were going to say is that you screamed it with as they were doing it. Uh-huh. No. <laughs> I think. I think there are certain things where you can tell that WWE, or at least certain people in the WWE, are absolutely, A, paying attention, or B, one of us. That is one of those instances. The other instance was when they did the Damian Sandow breakdown of the Oh You Didn't Know uh, entrance. (laughs) uh, Where where the meme came alive. That was tremendous. And I don't know... Somebody's listening to us. So I don't know. I mean, not us, but the meme boards, all that stuff. But, like, I don't know if it's Sandow saying, oh, look what they're doing with my stuff. That's actually, oh, we could do that here. Well, or was it somebody that says, hey, have you seen this? You well, know? As, as much as people don't want to believe, WWE is in touch with all that stuff. Yeah. I mean, they, there's a lot of people doing a lot of things. And in uh, it, the word is that Vince is not the top level guy anymore. That everything filters through him, mm-hmm. and that I mean, there's a really good article uh, somebody posted in the board a few. I don't know if we talked about it here about how Triple H, since he's more and more become in power, this has turned into a wrestling show again with good wrestling, yeah. Uh, yeah. which I think was very well demonstrated uh, uh, last night in Pittsburgh. Um, Triple Threat match. Yeah, exactly. I mean, we we're not. You would not be able to do. I mean, we've we've had two hour raws where we felt like we maybe had three matches, right? And I was oh like, yeah, eh, right. They cannot get away with that for three hours. No way can they get rid of, get away with that for three hours. They have to do that stuff. You know, again, there was a time where I'm like, look at my, I'm like, I'm like I, th- I don't think we've had a match for like 15 minutes here. You know, but still, you know, they they, they do a good job of keeping us into it and playing and their as much as, commercials. As much as like, uh, besides like. The Ziggler Kingston match and like the uh, the Kane Daniel Bryan Primo and Epico match. I feel like they've been trying to mix things up a bit. Yeah, like not everyone's wrestling the same guy. At least, and I mean, I was just happy because we didn't see Antonio Cesaro or Wade Barrett get beaten by Ryback or Randy Orton for like the ninth time in a row. Yeah. Um. Yeah. But like the John Cena, Dave, uh, Darren Young stuff, and like. You know, it's just different stuff like that where you, you know, you can get away with it. And it, it was still great wrestling, but it was different. And you didn't feel like, you know, you it, it felt like something you had to watch, I think. I, you know, and I, and I wonder and I, I have no no insight in any kind of writing process there. Uh, but I do wonder how they come up with stuff like are they like. What is the most ridiculous person we can put up against John Cena tonight? Or, or like, you know, who has uh, uh, so-and-so not wrestled lately that we think would be decent? Like, I, I do wonder how that comes up through the food chain and, uh, and become the show that we get to see. So, that reminded me of something. Hmm. That also, that, uh, they also brought up a meme on that one, too. Because hmm. uh, pa- Uncle Pancake <laughs> said... Mm-hmm. That um, yeah, he said that since John Cena is Fruity Pebbles now, Darren Young, who is yep. Black John Cena, Cocoa should Pebbles. be the Cocoa Pebbles guy. And, and it was one of those where I was the only guy in my row laughing at that <laughs> hilariously. Yeah, yeah I, I was. I was bummed that Pittsburgh didn't really. It seems like they didn't, they didn't know what care. to make a pancake, yeah. uh, which bummed me out because it was fucking hilarious. I think it was the wrong town for something like that. For yeah. yeah, absolutely. He was kind of doing an impersonation of uh, 
uh, Richard Pryor used to do this character called Mudbone, and it, it reminded me along the same lines as Mudbone, not as you know racially racial, but um, but <laughs> similar to Mudbone. Yeah, yeah, and again, uh, kind of that high level stuff that it was new to the lowest common denominator. Yeah, you know, so. Mm-hmm. I, I, I always say that, but I don't want to be like, you know, oh, wrestling fans suck or anything like that. I want to make make sure that's that's clear. We're not like, you know, we're higher wrestling fans than you. Uh, because, no, absolutely Because not. I think it needs to be understood because I really hate, like, I've seen I've seen guys, like, go, like, I go, I hate wrestling fans, da 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 you know. It's like, but these are the guys paying the ticket, you know. So regardless of, I don't know, it's one of those guys. I, th- I, th- I, think, I think wrestling fans need, they're not all. I think there are... You know, wrestling fans here or there that I think need to change a bit, but not in the sense of, you know, I've seen wrestling fans that, you know, like you said, are the lowest common denominator fans, but aren't offensive. Wrestling fans can do be do and be whatever the fuck they want to be as long as they're paying uh, uh, good money to see what they're seeing in that ring. And right. And they continue to come back. Sometimes it's, okay? sometimes it's I mean, really that, that's, cool That's listen. the bottom line. And, 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 and I think if you don't have a respect for that's your customer you know uh you know as in any business you know being if you're a wrestler or you're the wwe or you're some other indie promotion or something i think that's something that needs to be like regardless of wow this guy has no teeth it's like no this guy came and paid money to see you and now when he wants to buy it maybe buy a t-shirt from you yeah you better fucking grovel at him because he's your meal ticket you know i mean that's that's I was like, and, and, and that's, that's the and way that's, it is, guys. You know, and that's for any product. Yeah, uh, wrestling wise, it's for WWE, it's for TNA, it's even for Ring of Honor. It's for all the indie companies around there. Whether it's the companies that are trying to be more like Ring of Honor or the, the smaller groups like mm-hmm. an RWA or a, you know, and uh, an IWC <laughs> or something like that. Like it's you're appealing to those kind of fans. You're appealing to the lowest common denominators. You're appealing to the, I guess, what you can say, the marks. And the, yeah. you know the, yeah. those groups. If you don't think, if you think you're only appealing to a certain group, and that you're that the other groups of wrestling fans don't matter to you, you're mm-hmm. in the wrong business. Yeah, but I mean, to a point, you know, people say, "Well, you don't listen to the the internet or anything like that." They listen to the right parts of the internet. They listen to the ones that can't spell because those are the ones that are in bulk paying money to them. Um, <laughs> the, <laughs> I, does that sound like I'm running down those fans when no, I say no, that? You're right. I mean, you're I'm sorry. You're, that's you're like not what, wrong about I, it. I'm not. No. Right? And, and well, uh, but but those are the ones. You know, they say when right. they say the internet, the internet doesn't matter. Well, you know, some guy that 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 makes this high level uh, argument about what's going on in WWE and why it's wrong on the Bleacher Report is not is the holy crap minority of it. You know, you're talking about the so noisy the minority. The now, the the people like us doing our show and really analyzing their audience are not the people they give a fuck about the people mm-hmm. they're they're happy that we're talking about it though and giving them free advertising and we promote their thing for free and all that stuff and just because we love the shit uh but their voice is the people that do come to their touts and their facebooks and their twitters because that's the general populace that followed those breadcrumbs they put on their tv show and now they have their uh focus group and I don't think, like, I don't think those groups, like you mentioned, like the Bleacher Report groups that are, you know, sort of, like, either running down parts of the show or whatever, I'm not saying, like, I don't think they won't pay their money for their events. Mm-hmm. And, and because they would deal out their money, you know, you have to... They're, you ha- they're too you high level and smart and taking their shit off of the internet anyways. They're not paying for shit. <laughs> I, I say that, I say that in sort of, um, I, I, th- I, don't, I think you should be appealing to everyone. I don't think... You know, your company should be based around what one group of wrestling fans like. Absolutely. No, no. But at this, I, I kind of, I kind of liken it more to the group. Uh, I've seen groups before, uh, and not really WWE, more independent groups that are le- um, like they uh, a fan like maybe critiques a part of their show or offers like a you know just a part of it, and they sort of respond with a sense of well, what the fuck do you know? You know. Get, uh, get out of your parents' basement. Like, yeah, I've seen that yeah. happen with top level officials in indie promotion saying that to people. And if that was me, like, when that happens, like, I'm not buying your product. Yeah. You know? Like, yeah. I, don't, I don't care. Like, if I go to Applebee's and, like, I order dinner 
and it's cold. And I and I talk. To, I tell the wait staff that my my meal came out cold, and they tell me, "Well, what the fuck do you know? Like, you know, you're just the mark on the internet who's still in their parents' basement. <laughs> you don't know about cold food. Um, then I'm not going to Applebee's ever again. I don't know about cold food. Well, I think it's also uh, part of the culture that we're in right now, where anybody, nobody can really take criticism well. As soon as they hear somebody criticizing them, their response is, "Well, you're just a hater." You know what I mean? And and are in in the culture that we're in today, fuck the haters. You know what I mean? And and and, and, and excuse me, <laughs> you don't have to suck my dick, but I, I I I've I've said I post <laughs> Wait, <what>? stuff. On- <laughs> <laughs> Bottom line, you don't yeah, have to suck my dick. Every other point is moot now. It's an optional extra. But I've blogged about Bonus. companies before, and I've mentioned points that I think they need to improve on, and I've had people message me back saying, thank you for the comments. We're hopefully looking to improve on the stuff that we've been that you've mentioned. Okay. It's not like you have to be like, oh, you're right, you're you know awesome and all that stuff. Like, yes, but, thank you for not making you're me not suck either. your dick. <laughs> 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 yeah. Bottom line, you don't have to suck my dick. <laughs> well, that's good to know. Can we good. call the show yeah. that you don't ha- wrestling mayhem show? Uh, <laughs> you, don't you don't have, have to suck, suck my dick. No. That's, no. that's the tagline. For the <laughs> no. What's the tag? Oh my god! Is there anything else we want to touch on before we head out of here, guys? I, I, I want to yeah, touch on the same DNA. Kit is. Dude, I mean, what? The same little kid. <laughs> Everyone has points. Sort. What? That same little kid that Riz um scared. Yep. <laughs> also, heard me booing Randy Orton last night. Turned around and gave me a death stare. Yeah. <laughs> He was angry at me, and I'm like, oh, okay, little guy, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, Randy Orton. Yeah. Dude, I wanted dude, to talk was... about Randy Orton. Oh. Okay, go for it. Um, I, I Seeing him at Raw last night, um, it, 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 made, it reminded me of the days where he was like a really smarmy shitbag heel, you know what I mean? And then, which also reminded me of the days where he was a like really, really violent heel. Mm-hmm. And those were good times. Mm-hmm. Good times. And he... And what he's doing right now is I feel like he's just floundering. Like, okay, so he's a face, sort of, and he's – his style is really impressive. Just to watch. Just to watch Randy Orton. Put aside your feelings for him. Watch him wrestle. He's so precise in all of his movements. You know what I mean? He's not just – it's not random. Everything is like – Minute. I've only seen that kind of precision out of low key in the indies, um, mm-hmm. and and here's Randy Orton doing it, but he's floundering. They're not doing anything with him. He's not taking any initiative. If they made him back into that smarmy, violent heel again, I think they could do good I, stuff with him. But I'm I'm here's, afraid that that time's passed. Here's what's going on. I think uh, obviously you, you kind of see not everybody can be on top. Not everybody can be in the top three matches, right? Mm. And right now they have too many good guys. <laughs> Yeah, you know, and, and then anybody you're like, well, what are we gonna do? Well, we'll put an IC belt on him. Well, then we're not building anybody up, and he kind of, that's kind of a demotion for that guy. Well, okay, we'll just have him beat up people every week, and he's going to continue to sell T-shirts. Okay, and yeah, they- this is where Ryback and Orton. Well, not bringing me a son. No, Ryback's a different story entirely. But Orton, Sheamus are there, right? John's in the big show now, too. In the big show, right? Uh, because it's a cycle where they got to go do this stuff over here. It's basically a victim of not getting hurt. Too many people, not, yeah. not enough people getting hurt at this point, right? Because now you have those guys that are sitting there. Now you got, like, the guys that were supposed to be on the way up, you know, like your Wade Barrett's and Cesaro's kind of getting jobbed out, you know, and hitting that wall of, well, this guy, mm-hmm. we can't weaken these guys by bringing these guys up, you know, all the time. Uh, so, you know, can I just say, but, can I just say but they will continue to come out. We put them in a tag match. They've had their time. We sell a bunch of t-shirts to those guys. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it, I think you explained it perfectly about the whole injury thing is because we're having overcrowding, you know, in the roster now. Can we stop with this whole, like, um, we we can't make them look weak, so they have to win every single match. And I don't, I, mean, I, I, I don't mean to get on like the Randy Orton thing, and I know that's you know, and Randy Orton's sort of getting better at that. But I think they they're having this mentality of like, if it's like I losing, I think builds character in someone. 
Look at it John does. Cena over the last year. Mm-hmm. I mean, it does. Mm-hmm. I, um, I, I think, I, I, and again, you know, who knows? Again, I have no idea how they plan for this stuff, how that works, but it does seem like, uh, I don't know. I, I, if he's in a holding pattern, he still needs to look good, you know? Um, right. I, I, I don't know. I, I, I know I, I, I guess I'm the guy that brings him up. Um, but Brandon Stroud made an awesome point about the Ryback-Mark Henry feud. Because uh, they had their match on SmackDown, and they didn't really have the match, and the Shield came out, and so you know they both looked okay. But if they're going to have, they were obviously now they're having Ryback, right back Mark Henry in WrestleMania, right? Yeah. Um, if Mark Henry, they could have had the match on SmackDown and have Mark Henry beat Ryback, mm-hmm. like beat him clean, and it doesn't weaken Ryback. He can still be a monster, but. He has like a motivation, and now he has a reason to really like get better, and you know, come back and defeat Mark Henry so, at WrestleMania. I love so how passionate it, Wrestle fan gets when he's playing Armchair Booker. I, I, so I, wait a minute, he's like, wait what? Minute, wait this minute. just makes sense to people. Wait, wait a minute. Wait, I'm wait, sorry. Wait, wait. Okay. I, wait a minute. Did you just? Did, did, he just went Rocky Apollo Creed on us. <laughs> That's the exact thing. <laughs> wait, I don't, wait, I don't know who wait. that is, but okay. <laughs> wait, did you just you just gave us the storyline from Rocky? Yes, you just did Rocky. What story the line. fuck? You're not even being original. Fan, <laughs> guys, I got story, a great booking idea. Isn't the storyline from Rocky like? Shouldn't that be like every wrestling storyline? <laughs> Guys, I okay, got a great it depends, it it depends on which Rocky, because the one where Spoiler you fought alert. Mr. T is basically the story of John Cena. Guys, okay, I got a great that's true. Idea. But the but okay. the one Riz is referring to shouldn't that be like most storylines? Uh, Bobby, Bobby, what's your idea? Okay, Randy Orton. Yeah, is out in the woods. <laughs> <laughs> Bobby, he no. finds an alien. Bobby, no. That likes Reese's Pieces. <laughs> I like where this is going. Okay, I, Can we tie in McDonald's? The yeah, you tie in McDonald's and Reese's Pieces, and then they're riding bis- They're riding bicycles, and um, the, oh, the aliens Paul Heyman. And for some and reason, they go he through. Puts he puts Paul Heyman Paul in the Heyman. front of his bicycle, and they fly over, over, and there's a shadow on the moon, and, then, and you can make that into a T-shirt. There's, It'd be perfect. there's our and, title: The Alien is Paul Heyman. And for some reason, <laughs> and for some reason, they went through the drive-through and did a Stone Cold impression. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Wow. Um. All right, guys, this is the Wrestling Mayhem Show. Uh, we Wait, do what? this. What? What? Wait, we. This is the stuff we do on Tuesday nights where you can join us live at 9 p.m. Eastern Time at live.sorgatronmedia.com. Uh, we do have a website. We do have a website, and that website's over at wrestlingmayhemshow.com. Uh, our, our show is up on iTunes. It's on Spreaker, Stitcher, if you have that app, uh, Blip TV, the Roku boxes through the Blip TV app, uh, and, uh, of course, YouTube video and audio forms. Of course, also, you know, check out the app, WMS we Gold. App. We can get all that stuff in the audio wait form. That's not the right app. That's the WWE app, sir. Um, and, and all that uh, kind of stuff. Wait, 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 iOS, uh, Amazon app stores for your Android and iOS devices. Um, you can also drop us a line at the email good address. Good, good times. Good, good times. At good wrestling time. com. Uh, also drop us a line at 412... Okay. Yes. yes, that looks about right. Four one two two zero six WMS zero, like Mister Bo Diggity Dig. Uh, I'm Sorgatron. Time. Hey, 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 Sorg. Did, hey. Did, Sorg. Did, 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 is that what we learned? Oh Sorg. yeah. And by the way, I did. Learn? And by the way, I did learn that Chachi will leave in the beginning of the show if Zack Ryder <laughs> is the first one that comes out <laughs> for first a piss comes. break. He is not prepared to take. <laughs> What'd you learn, Riz? I learned why they call him Pancake. Mm-hmm. Wrestle fan? Because he's flat full, son! Whoa, I was ready for that one. Yeah, yes, I wasn't either. Uh, I learned that there's nothing better more fun. better be ready. Than, that there's nothing more fun than watching Brock Lesnar come out on stage, yell, and just beat the fuck out of the stage with a chair. He hit the sign! He hit the logo! Was that he, on TV? I, I don't. I think I may have missed that. He, but him he just, came like, out and just screaming. wailed at the big WWE logo. Him just oh, screaming and beating the fuck out of that chair. Oh, yell. Oh, God, Brock Lesnar. Pop a lunchbox. I learned that we live in the Nestle City. <laughs> <laughs> Bobby? That's two uh, pancakes. I learned, I learned that um, Kane Spyro scares the shit out of everyone. Yeah. Yep. 
Mm-hmm. Three, two, two out of the three times, because at the end he raises hands, and and Jericho is also scares still, the crap out of it's, people. It's still scary. Mm-hmm. And as an added bonus, backpacks. I learned that RWA has just uh, officially changed their uh, 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 event for this weekend <laughs> to RWA Cash for Gold. Uh, yep. Bring your gold to the show, and we'll pay you in cash. Go to <laughs> rwalive.com if you want to find out what the show is really called. Uh, thanks a lot, guys. It's been fun. Wrestling Mayhem Show out. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait.